In this video, we're going to look at hyperlinks. Hyperlinks are words or pictures that you can click on that will take you to another place. For example, if you want to allow somebody to access a certain web page, then we can insert a hyperlink to the document. Let's try this. We'll type in uh, visit the BBC. If I want to allow people to be able to go to the BBC website just by clicking on the, those words, then I can insert a hyperlink. I select the cell that I want to work with, and then I can either right mouse click, just move that up a little bit, I can right mouse click and drop down to hyperlink, or from the insert tab, we can select the hyperlink icon. Either of those will open the Insert Hyperlink dialog box. You'll notice at the top here, it's picked up the words, the text to display. It's picked up those words in the cell. I can change that and it will update the cell as well. You'll have noticed often when you do use a hyperlink that when you hover your mouse over it, you get some words pop up in a little screen tip. Well, we can do that as well. Here is the screen tip button. Clicking on there allows me to type in a screen tip. And we simply click OK. Now I want this to go to a website. So at the bottom of the screen here where it says address, I can just type in the address of the website. So I'm just doing this, I'll tell you about everything else shortly. All I've done is I've talked about the text at the top, that's what's in the cell, the screen tip, and then at the bottom of the page, we've put in the web address that we want people to go to. Select OK. That text has now been changed to a hyperlink. You can see that it's blue and underlined. You see the wording has been changed because I updated it in the dialog box. And when I hover over it, we get a screen tip pop up. To use a hyperlink, sure you know, simply click the button and that will open up whatever that hyperlink was pointing to. Once we have our hyperlink, we can again right click on it to edit the hyperlink or remove the hyperlink. Edit the hyperlink will simply go back into the dialog box that we had open originally, and from there we can also remove link. OK, let's look in a little bit more detail. To start with, in the hyperlink dialog box down this left hand side, we're saying what do we want to link to. It always defaults to the existing file or a web page, and I use that web page aspect in order to set up my hyperlink that went to the internet, the BBC website. It says existing file or web page. So we can actually get this to open a different document. Let's try this. Once we're choosing existing file, then we're using this central area here to dial up our preferences. It's asking us where do we want to look in for that particular file. You can see I'm on the desktop there, but I can choose any folder on my computer. We can look at browsed pages, so that will show us our internet history. It will allow us to choose files from the internet that we visited earlier. And recent documents that we've had open as well. I'm going to leave it as current folder. And there's a document that I want to link to, a PDF document. You see it's put the address. Now it's overridden what I had there and put in the address, the location of the document that I want to link to. Let's just change the text to display and let's just call this PayPal and I'll change the screen tip as well. See the PayPal instructions. So what have we done? We've chosen to visit an existing file. We've modified our text to display and screen tip. We've looked in the desktop for a document to link to and in this instance, I'm linking to a PDF document. Click on OK. You can see the 
Contents of the cell have been updated, now says PayPal. The screen tip has been updated, see the PayPal instructions. And when I click on there, instead of going to the BBC website, it will now open that document. There it is, bringing it into focus. It'll open that PDF document. What else can we do? Again, we'll right click and do edit hyperlink. I could just click on the hyperlink button again and it'll again, it'll just take me into the same dialog box. So we've looked at existing files and web pages. You can also get the link to jump to different places in this particular document. For example, I could choose a different worksheet. Let's choose the auditing worksheet and tell it to jump to a particular cell. Let's choose D5. So this will change the hyperlink to jump to cell D5 on the auditing worksheet. Better just change the text to display. Um, let's call it auditing. And we'll change the screen tip to visit auditing. If I could spell. Okay, so we've got that hyperlink in. Let's see how it works. Click on OK. You can see the wording has changed. The screen tip has changed with my misspellings. We're on the hyperlink worksheet at the moment. Let's see what happens when I click the hyperlink. It's jumped to, and you can see just about it's highlighted, it's selected cell D5 on the auditing worksheet. Let's have a look at that dialog box again. So we looked at places in this document. I'm not going to go through the rest of these, just tell you briefly what they are. We can get the hyperlink to actually create a brand new document, or we can change it to an email address. So we could put in email addresses and subjects and um, make it so that when the user clicks on the hyperlink, if they have an email client such as Outlook or Outlook Express, then uh, a new email message will be created, allowing people to send an email quickly and easily. But the main things for this particular syllabus are the existing file and web page and places in this document.